In today's world, you probably don't even give it a second thought when you're scrolling through your smartphone, adjusting the air conditioner, or switching on your laptop. But what if I told you that almost every single piece of tech in your life, from your sneakers to your car, might actually be made in one place? Yep, you guessed it. China. Before you roll your eyes thinking you've heard it all before, let me tell you, it's much bigger than just made in China. This isn't just about low-cost labor, it's about an empire built on tech dominance that's making everyone from Washington to Brussels sweat. Now I'm sure you're already thinking, yeah, but China has always been this giant factory. Hold on, because the story is far deeper than that. Imagine this. In just the last decade, China has ramped up its production power to become the leader in making nearly everything we use daily. Your solar panels? China. Electric vehicles that are pushing Tesla to the edge? China. And here's the kicker. They're making these things better, faster, and cheaper than ever before. But where does it end? As China's grip on global production tightens, European and American markets are scrambling to figure out how to break free. Take electric vehicles for example. The EU just slapped tariffs as high as 38% on Chinese-made EVs because, well, they're flooding the European market and stealing the spotlight from local brands. Brussels claims it's all about unfair subsidies from Beijing, but China? They're not just going to sit there and take it. Rumor has it they're planning to hit back, and hard. If you're finding this as mind-blowing as I am, smash that subscribe button and let's keep peeling back these layers. But here's where it gets dicey. The West isn't just sitting around crossing their fingers for a comeback. They're fighting back, with tariffs, bans, and straight-up blocking Chinese tech. Here's where it gets even more interesting. This isn't just about economic power, it's about survival in the new tech world order. You see, China's already making massive moves in semiconductors, artificial intelligence, and even quantum computing. These aren't just buzzwords, they're the future. And the West? They're panicking, trying to claw back some of that control. But honestly, the game may already be lost. Let's break this down with a reality check. China isn't just the world's factory. They're now the world's largest electric vehicle producer, dominating the smartphone industry and controlling the market for key materials like steel and aluminum. If that sounds scary, it's because it is. And don't think for a second this is all happening quietly behind the scenes. The US and EU are freaking out, trying to block China's access to key technologies like 5G and high-end chips. If you haven't already, drop a comment below with your thoughts on whether you think the West can catch up, or is China too far ahead? While you're at it, hit that notification bell because in the next segment we're diving into China's weaponized strategy for global tech dominance. But I bet you're wondering, is China unbeatable? Not quite. While China's building tech empires, scandals are emerging from within. Corruption is rampant, and mismanagement of funds in their semiconductor industry could slow them down. Will this give the West the time it needs to make a comeback? Maybe. But at the same time, China is digging deeper into self-sufficiency, building everything they need, without any help from the US or Europe. Here's a juicy fact. China controls over 70% of the world's rare earth elements, which are essential for everything from smartphones to electric vehicles. Think about that for a second. The entire green energy future relies on resources that China dominates. Can the West find alternatives, or are we all heading toward a tech apocalypse where China calls the shots? And speaking of alternatives, this brings us to the ultimate question. Is this economic warfare between China and the West sustainable, or is the world headed for a tech cold war? Before I wrap this up, let me hit you with this final thought. As China continues to expand its dominance in everything from consumer goods to quantum computing, the world's balance of power is shifting. Are you prepared for what's coming next? If you haven't yet, subscribe to The Trivia Treasures and let's navigate this storm together. All right, last call to action here. What's your take? Are we living in the era of the new tech Cold War, or is the West just too late to the party? Let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to share this video with anyone who needs to wake up to the reality of what's happening in the global market. 
Until next time, stay sharp and stay informed.